Bathing a baby at home for the first time can be a daunting experience. Hopefully, I can give you the expertise and the knowledge to make this a joyful occasion for both you and your baby. When bathing your baby for the first time, I do recommend that you have somebody with you because you are destined to forget something and they can run off and grab it. There are some essential things that you will need. First thing being, obviously, a plastic baby bath is ideal. Something at waist height is great so you're not stooping over to lift baby in and out. Also, you will need some pH balance soap. We recommend pH balance soap because your baby's skin is very porous and will absorb any moisture that's put on it. So try to stay away from any perfumed washes or baby baths. Another item you need are nappies and plenty of them. Always have them to hand because you never know when you'll be caught off guard. You will also need some cotton wool to wash baby with. And lastly, you will need two towels. I'll explain why you need two further on. When you're bathing your baby, it is nice to place the towels and the fresh baby clothes onto the radiator so that they're warm for the baby when they get out. Just a word of warning, when you are placing the baby's clothes on the radiator to watch the steel poppers at the end of the baby grows. Make sure they're not directly touching the radiator because you don't want to scald the baby. Never check the temperature of the water with your hand because our hands are more sensitized to heat than a baby's skin. So roll up your sleeve, pop your elbow into the water and it should just feel warm. Ideally between 36 and 37 degrees is the temperature you want for your bath. You could get a baby thermometer which will give you an accurate indication of the temperature. If it's too hot, add more cold water or too cold, add more hot water. A bath is done in two stages, and this is to minimize heat loss to your baby. Firstly, you will do the head. So fold down one corner of the towel and place baby like so. Wrap the towel around. You're nearly swaddling the baby up, keeping their arms well secured. Always leave the nappy on at this stage because a baby's tendency is to pee when water hits their head, and you don't want any accidents or stained towels. To hold baby, securely lift your baby up Gently use the C-shape of your hand to support your baby's neck in what's called a rugby ball hold. To wash your baby's head, you just gently hover the baby over the bath and with your hands, pour water over the head gently. You can use your soap at this point to give the hair a good wash. Using your cotton wool balls, dip them into the water. You're going to do the eyes first. When washing the eyes, you always wash inside to out, down around the ear, and get rid of that piece of cotton wool. It's important never to swipe back over the eye with that piece of cotton wool, because if there is any infection, then you'll be bringing it back over the eye and it'll be harder to get rid of. You take a separate piece of cotton wool for the other eye, and the same thing again, inside to out and down around the ear. Using an other piece, you then wash the face, the forehead, down around the nose and around the mouth. Very importantly, in under the chin. Get right in under there for any milk that may have stayed in the creases of your baby's neck. And the same thing around the back of the neck. And that's the first part of your bath done. Bring baby back to the changing table and you can now unwrap the towel. Unfold this piece again and just dry the baby's hair and face off like so. Now at this point, you will obviously take off the nappy because we're doing the second half of the bath. So get rid of the nappy. If there's any poo there, obviously clean that off first before you put your baby into the bath. So a good steady hold for bringing a baby to the bath is like so. Gently lift your baby up, place your baby's shoulders on your forearm and take hold of their outer arm. You gently lift up their legs and hold both feet in your hand and bring your baby across to the bath. Gently lower your baby in feet first into the water until they're submerged up to the shoulders like this. You don't have to leave your baby long in the bath. Some people just like a quick dip, so gently splash water up on your baby. Use your cotton wool again to get into all those creases that the baby has on their skin. The folds in under the arm and especially in on the legs and behind the knees. To wash your baby's back, you have one of two options. You can gently lower your baby right in so their back is fully covered with water. Or alternatively, if you're feeling confident enough, 
You can lean your baby over your forearm like so and just gently splash some water on the back like this. Use that hold I showed you to lift your baby out and onto your dry towel. Dry your baby off as much as you can. Make sure you dry off all the little creases in under the arm and down around the groin and back of the legs. If moisture traps in there, it can cause irritation. To dry your baby's back, gently sit your baby up. Use the C shape of your hand again and rest your baby's chin and give the back a good dry again, making sure all the creases are nice and dry. The reason for the second towel is so we can minimize heat loss by removing this wet towel and replacing with a nice, clean, fresh, warm towel. As I said, with soap, you don't need to use anything on your baby's skin for the first six weeks. A lot of parents like to use talcum powder, but it can actually irritate your baby's lungs. So it's really recommended that you don't use it at this stage. For more tips and advice, visit us at aptoclub.ie.